Thank you very much, uh, colleagues, uh, members of the Central Committee present, my colleagues from the media. First and foremost, uh, today we focused on talking about our party. I also want to join others to pay tribute to our founding uh, fathers of this political party. It's now 22 years old. We spent 10 years in opposition. We also spent 10 years in government. What a wealth of experience. Right now, let me also emphasize the point that PF is bigger than any individual. That's why we have the constitution which we follow and which we have actually improved. And we want to ensure that and make a point as members of parliament. We do not have different forms of membership. We only have one type of membership. You come from Socialist Party, you join PF, you are a full member. You come from UPND, as I've known that, you know, a lot of people are joining us from the UPND. You are a full member of PF and you have every right to be, you know, the same way you have a right to vote, you also have a right to be voted for or to be appointed in any position of authority. So that point is very important. There, that having said, it's clear that those that are falling behind the opportunities that have existed in the party, and we are happy that at least we have also experienced, after being in office, we are in opposition, we are seeing the true members of PF. Those who are dining with the UPND, those you know, who are going to the UPND and beg money, what's the UPF? We ask you, leave and go and join the UPND. Amen. The UPND, by the way, is a finished party. Amen. Look, Umuntu president, he was in the compounds. People are telling you in Salah, and you come, you are laughing about it. That was not lack of seriousness. Shame. You know, Zambians, I want to remind you that in 1991, it's hunger that brought down the mighty KK. Who, lived, who stayed in power for the seven years? Uh, this hunger is the same hunger that is, has brought out the UPND. And by the way, spiritually, the UPND has already lost power. We are just waiting for the manifestation. I want to also emphasize that. It's true. Because of the failure of the UPND, we are now seeing things we have not seen in a long time. The demonstration by the students at the University of Zambia is a clear indicator of their failures. As they have failed, their preoccupation has been to go and arrest opposition leaders. They have now finished all the opposition leaders arresting them. And by the way, once they arrest, they are failing to prosecute them in court. So the only arrest they have to do is to arrest you, keep you for two days. Like they just did the last one of Munia Zulu. After that, there's nothing more. There's no conviction that we can talk about that the UPND is fighting corruption. And the, please, Zambians, let's open our eyes. Our colleagues, maybe it's true they are educated, but I, I doubt it. However, yeah, yeah. let me say one thing. Their type of corruption is what is known as white corruption, institutionalized corruption. You know the way they're stealing our money? They are not going to the Attorney General to sign constant judgments. So a funny guy somewhere, a criminal comes, oh, yes, uh, you know, I'm from, I'm from uh, whatever. Uh, you know, I was slapped here and there. Uh, I'm suing the government through the Attorney General. And remember, the Attorney General was just, before he was, uh, you know, ratified by Parliament, he was a member of the, what they call it, equivalent Central Committee, National of the, the National whatever, of uh, the UPND. So he's a member of the UPND, technically. And because of that, they are signing this consent judgment, let us bring to the tune of 6.4 million. That's a lot of money that the government is giving out. Now, amidst all these problems, we have all this corruption. But this is just a single example. Let me emphasize that at the end of the day, really, uh, the UPND said they wanted to bribe the students with uh, so-called meal allowances. I'll tell you, the issue of meal allowances, the PF still stands well with the removal of the new allowances. And I would like to defend that position. Yeah. What we said, we are aware that new allowances are important for the students. But we had more students wanting to do university education. So we said to the students, can we share? We, remove, we, we pay for other things, we remove new allowances, and pay for our brothers and sisters, particularly those from the rural areas like Luango. That is how those new allowances were removed. They are not removed for the sake of it, no. So, and we were to return them with, with time. But alas, the students have now agreed that this is wrong. The UPND is meddling with student leadership. Now, student leadership is necessary for national leadership. Like most of us, you know, 
uh, Christopher Kangombe, uh, uh, myself, and uh, several others in the PF who were students. So let them stop meddling with the elections of students as a way of you know, winning the 2026 election. Whatever things are to, they are failing. All these are signs of desperation. I don't, I don't want to keep you long, but suffice to say that, uh, as I conclude, the former head of state, there's no law that stops him from traveling, and there's no need for him to get any permission from anyone in this country or outside. He has the, the right to, like my colleague said, he has the right to freedom of movement. The, there's only existence and administrative measure to inform the government because he is head of state. So let them not stop him from moving. The fear, you know, like John Sangwa said, uh, senior state council, if he wants to come back, let the Zambian people stop him in the ballot. What is this? First? The fear, like I said, desperation has intrigued and entered the UK. And uh, the next two years, we are ready as patriotic front. Whatever they do, we hit them head on collision. And indeed, we remain as a party, we are a mass movement, we remain united, not just standing all these small things, but we remain called to support the objectives of the party because the patriotic front was founded on the principle of fighting for the poor, unlike this political party, which you know works for the rich. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We'll go to Chiobi. They come in small packages, but they are dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, my director. I know that the star, most of the people have misunderstood it and associated it with my friend, maybe, and many other factors. But that is not my day to introduce uh, uh, the, the, the issue of the star. Um, I want to address the media and uh, maybe fellow members on few pertinent issues, uh, taking resources that he, um, most of our members have addressed serious issues that are uh, 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 around uh, the nation. First of all, I want to establish there is this uh, thing that is making you can grow goose pimples. When they hear that PF wants to come back to power, is it their right to bar PF? PF has the right, according to the Bill of Rights, to coexist with Zambians, and they can have a partnership with Zambians. It is up to Zambians to reject the PF in the ballot. And UPND, maybe for you not to, sleep, to spend sleepless nights, that you should have it in mind that PF would exist as far as Zambians allow it to exist. It is not our, our, our lifespan is not in the hands of UPND. That has to go on record. Our lifespan is not in the, life, in the hands of UPND. UPND formed their party in 20, uh, 1998. PF formed the party in 2001. It became uh, a, a ruling government, earlier than UPND, which was formed earlier. And UPND should not underestimate us that we are very experienced. Just like the other member of parliament said that uh, we, uh, we have existed in, 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 in opposition, we have also existed in the ruling party. So experience is vast. And don't take our silence for granted. When we are silent, it's just because we want peace in the nation. And we want to contribute to the existence of peace. Then we have maneuvers that we are doing and we are sponsoring people that we know. We are politicians too. But we have just managed to watch you because we don't want to make the country ungovernable. By responding, we are just in power. We are giving you space so that we approve all Kula win. Oh, now it's Monica Kula. Yeah. So it's yeah. not uh, blaming us. <laughs> Um, when we talk about the partnership with the Zambians, currently we have got a vast hunger spread throughout the nation. The urbanites are affected, the villages where I come from are affected, the peri urban is affected. So, what should be the preoccupation of every politician? We have a very sound manifesto. Some of you have read it, the manifesto from 2021 2026 is helping us to exist as a political party. And if UPN is finding a problem, they are the 10 point which is no longer there. Their manifesto as a ruling party is not even in circulation. That should be a, 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 an indicator that uh, this is a, a bogus you know, political party that doesn't suit to rule a country. If a, 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 a ruling party is afraid to even circulate the, their manifesto, PF, I remember the time Mr. Sata came to 
uh, power, he was not afraid to talk about even weaknesses of, 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 of PF. They are afraid of talking about the weaknesses because they overpromised the people. They can't fulfill anything. Now PF has become a, a, a target. I want to also underscore the fact that once the flavor swap of mango, I'll be mixing. Once the flavor swap of mango, only a mad person can uh, mad person can throw a stone. Kuchimu ticha mango, kuchimu mango ya piana ngwevish. We only throw kuchimu ticha mango, ukuli mango, because you know that once I throw a stone, I'm going to drop a mango fruit, and I'll eat a mango fruit. This stone of the stone, even hiring boys who are speaking. You find a boy who was in Kasama pretending at, at Uruma Tower and say, I'm still PF. Have you seen? We are coexisting. How can you speak against your party? And you still remain your, 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 a, a member of the party. It is clear. In politics, there are no neutral positions. It's either you are with us or you are not with us. It is simple. Those who are not with us are not going to speak our language. Those who are with us will speak our language. We are with our leaders. I want to underscore the point that we are with our leaders in everything. In their whether they are vulnerable, we are going to be part of the vulnerability. Where we are, the, our leaders are going to be weak, will be part of the weakness. When the, our leaders are going to be part of the strength, they are going to, we are going to recognize that, that strength. Let you not be cheated that members of parliament are not with the MCCs that they are making decisions. No. The, when the leaders make decisions, by the way, I want to take time also to congratulate the, 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 our, 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 our new SG, Take into, into consideration that uh, we have a deputy NCG which is incarcerated, which we sympathize with, and as a party, we, we have our prayers to with us, and I think he's, he's in court today. We also congratulate the, the new uh, information and, uh, and publicity chairperson, uh, who is quite effective. And I want to also emphasize that we will be a fool. Now sagging at no, you are a PF. No, but PF could demonstrate resilience. Those that have fought with the party, how many times has Nakatinda, a man of Mambandada, has gone into sales because of PF? Today, you want to say they are not PF? Who are you? Yes, who are you? The, the person who has demonstrated to go in sales because of the nun. If they wanted to sell the party, they would have sold the party when they were under pressure. Like you are doing. When they were in the like you are doing, where you go in the night and 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 and, and pray Judas Iscariot. Whoever is a Judas Iscariot to rush for where we stand, maybe it's just a matter of time. Where we stand, whoever is the Judas Iscariot is not with us. Mm. Our fight is big, and we have a moral duty to redeem the Zambians. We are the only ones who will sit well to redeem the Zambians. Mm. If you talk about uh, 1,858 we have got a chunk there, we have a chunk in parliament, and we have structures intact, mm. not shaken. So don't make a mistake that the Pantuna to have family vest gear to have a bad colleague. Not well. Who told you about the Caribe? Who Caribe? What happened to the bad And when we talk about this, you plan it, I'm going to take a past year when we start politics. Mm. We have just chosen patriotism. We have chosen patriotism because we need to coexist. We don't want to be disturbing you. I don't take that for a weakness. I want also to address the issue of what the president currently said. He said we are going to persecute. I'm sure you heard nicely. Eh? Persecute. And persecute. Some of you have been sending me text and say, how did you look at the president like that when he was trying to greet members of parliament? Sorry, I don't pretend. I am a genuine leather Catholic who doesn't pretend, who understands social justice. And uh, what I've been taught by my church is that I suffer with the, the majority. Yeah. I suffer with the common man. That is what guides me. And when anyone is disturbing the common man, he is equally disturbing me. Whoever has raised fuel prices, has raised fuel prices for me. Whoever has not arrested the prices of Miu Miu has not arrested the prices of Miu Miu for me. And I think to me, we should not expend energies into arresting me and that Mumba, Mumba thing, that failed pastor who is trying to whip the emotions of people that, uh, you know, individuals should be arrested for episodage. You know, which is the question. Sorry that I, I, I would soft recall this immoral. You cannot 
choose to take that route as a, uh, as a pastor. Mm. We know that we have relations. If you want to debate about, you know, uh, Zimbabwe and the like, that is our brother. It's our Siamese twin. Yes. And we go with that and we embrace whatever choice that day. We have no right to control what is happening in another country. Here we, we agreed that uh, 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 President Akainde uh, becomes the president and if power was surrendered to him freely, why should we interfere to another, uh, in another country's affairs? They have the right to choose whoever they choose. And all we are supposed to do is to agree with them and go along and trade with them in uh, different areas. Um, my dear brothers and sisters, I also want to address that you could take it to the um, secretariat. Lasavula in Kuni, Wakosia, and you say now take it to the secretariat. Paribakwe Chirupano, the only Chirupano to Akwete is when we lost the election. We have recovered. So, we have been mourning our, forefa our founding father, our president, without problems. Now, let me take time to also address these spineless infidels that have been trotting and going around uh, thinking that because we are quiet, then they can take us on. The spineless infidels also include some of the distance that are coming from our party. Those that have chosen to drink from a poison chest, those that have chosen to, 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 to eat with them for the sake of the berry, we are looking at a bigger picture. Not why you are parading and claiming to be PF when you are speaking against the party. Those are spineless infidels. And I think when we want to talk about the issue of uh, the way we have traded ever since we lost, we have known and we have acknowledged that somebody has removed us because possibly we had one or two mistakes. And we have apologized several times on different platforms to Zambians. But we are asking from Zambians that since you are the owner of the power that we, the politicians, always fight for and go for, we are asking for another mandate. Not quite a fish, you know, to a little, to a little take a repo. Not quite infrastructure, you know, to contribute. Where you can even have say no number of tourists have increased. When you are talking about in the same mouth, you are talking about the social social airport. Hmm. Knowing, not knowing that what has increased the number of, of, of tourism is uh, the same airport you are referring to a sausage. <laughs> where man was pumped in. Yeah. So now in our journey to liberating the Zambian. Since we have demonstrated a pedigree that we can care for Zambians better than UPND, we know that we are going to be persecuted like the president said in parliament recently. He will persecute, though he said in a civil way, there's no persecution that goes in a civil way. There is only persecution. Persecution is wrong. What the law allows is persecution. Now, we are geared. We want to put it on record that we don't care and we don't fear Whatever comes, we know that political journeys are very heavy. We are going to take the, the cross. If the Lord Jesus Christ take, took the cross up to Calvary, who are we? Amen. Yes. So we are ready to take the cross. And we know that we have to pay a price. Those that are not ready to pay a price as we go in, on this journey, and to pose like you are revolutionaries when who, 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 who have never known you as a revolutionist. You are the a dramatist. That's what we know you for. Now, don't come and pose as a revolutionist. Mutula kere. Forever not to send them she. It's a chila. Some of you all have gone through. You should appreciate that this party had quite too much more to accommodate different children, even troubled children like Mouth Samba, have been accommodated. So now, when we accommodate people, that means that is weakness. Different people get on board and different people contribute because what we look for is what they are supposed to, the skills that they are supposed to contribute. And along the way, we are supposed to attract more members with different skills. And for your information, when we launch our strategic plan as an organization, you will see that we are not a joking matter. We don't joke. We thought to run the Pama 10 points plan. 
Ngatwalanda pali manifesto wala sanga ngamwa fuma bono pansi mule sanga manifesto ya turumana fya mulia musto twa mpela wonso bakoni cha chonsi e manifesto is we don't hide because we are ready to defend what we have written so now i am appealing to the, the members abale moneka kwat kunaka abale moneka kwat numwenso na shani ukweba ti nchito ole ya tampa if i talk today for ya chakweba ti to pocket chalo on behalf of the Zambians in a very civil way through the ballot. Now to Ishiba, Ubushkubu Yabuka Fikowa ballot to Kalopola. And we are not joking. To Kalopola, and people know that's why they are not every time they are talking about us because they know that Nifosa to Ingalopola Feka, no Kulopola to Kalopola, and the Pawala to Kanya Yo. So without school ballot in the Wafika, to not stop a poser because he's not in the Kafia Tower. But when it comes to the ballot, please, it belongs to PF. I think I don't want to bore you, uh, the media, and I don't want to bore my, my friends. We have said a lot of things. I think I, have, I take recognizance of our information and publicity, uh, you know, uh, pe chairperson and the, the media director. If at all there are any questions from the media, we are ready to answer. And uh, I think I rest my suitcase on this note. Before, before, before we take questions, he wanted the Wakopa Bell. He wanted just briefly just uh, a few minutes. Could you vend it? Honorable, it's not that Honorable Dasika does not want to talk much about She will talk, but she has just opted to remain mute for now. We we'll have for another briefing. Thank you. Just Thank you very much. Protocol was observed. Okay. Maybe let me talk about the persecution of the former head of state. Uh, first, I want to state that uh, I want to put, uh, his travel, his recent travel, where he was booked, uh, it has no cost implication on government. It has no cost implication on the government. So what was the issue? Why block him? Because uh, no law anywhere are written. Why he should get permission or be blocked? Uh, I've just seen in the newspaper, the spokesperson from information where he's saying uh, they can't allow the former head of the state to travel without security. It's, it's not a joke. What kind of security are they talking about? Mm. Is it security? Is it security is wealth life? Is it security to check what he's doing because they are scared? They are not doing things right. So let them come out in the open. You saw even the last time we was it just some weeks ago when he was in the copper boat, he went for prayers. The deployment we saw, one could not believe. When we have no medicine in the hospitals, the resources that are being spent. Because, but look at the deployment, just stop him to go. What kind of security? Because they should have been there with them, Muchaich. So, what they are saying is not the truth. They are scared of their own shadow. That one is the head of state. He needs to be respected. He has served this country. And uh, his development, his legacy, is everywhere. We expect them to be tap from his wisdom. They are not going to do anything if they are not ready to build on what the PF left. Development is continuity. You can't start everything. Everything. They want to do everything they would want to do. Bari ambakali, but PF bari bomba, but what is the left yapa bomba PF? It's not easy for them to do it. Like that. Not easy at all. Not easy. We have information. They've borrowed six billion dollars in two years. The PF borrowed seven billion in seven years. You are able to see where that money is. Are you able to see where the six billion has gone? Na rekera popen. The PF party is the, is the only pro poor party. Abantu to over there, Lila. I want to say to you, Pantuayama, whatever president, he party, Abayam, Takwa. We shall not allow that nonsense. 
every member of the party na kwa tamu stake muni PFO yi but when you to pani why have they not formed the government if they are factors abuela PFO yi are embracing it's embracing those who are going I want to thank you, all those who went and formed the position. I want to thank them. PF is very embracing. You just be equal to another member who's been there before. No, we don't want. PFU, a part of you. We cautioned them. We cautioned them. We saw them, they were in a hurry to go to the West. We cautioned them. Look East. Tap in the wisdom of Edgar Chagwalungu and the PF government. They looked to East. That is where something is. They are rushing to the East at a late hour. When the when Nafisa Sanafi Panga Sawa, when Bata says the little car, why? Those his colleagues from the West, when you go there, they've got subsidies to cushion the people in terms of benefiting from the goods and services as a public good, as a common good. Ngabe na chisho chobare firwa, ba isaba funyama subsidy. Why they are not a problem? They don't care about your welfare. Subsidies were put there. They promised to rule better. A better idea. 29, 27. Is that a better? 300 plus. 280. 304. Is that better? No medicine in the hospitals. Is that better? Fiance Fine Boneka. Aini. PF is the only way. And uh, I want to assure you, colleagues and all members of the party, including the general public, these turbulences that we are experiencing during this time we are rebranding, is a passing phase. Because among us, we have people who don't need well. But uh, time is coming. We are going to flash them. Then to anika ni mutoi le time. Na pele la pope. Before we take questions, we have my information. Thank you very much. Members of Parliament, we are so privileged that you came to give strength to the Secretariat. And you also came to support the decision of our acting president, Honorable Given Luvinda, and decisions of the Central Committee. Uh, you are a pillar in our party because of the work you do in the Legislative Assembly. You help uh, supervise those policies, reject those that are harmful, and also debate on the welfare of our people. The many issues that you've raised, first to stand with the party, to reject in this plane, as was shown on Friday. Also to speak on the um, issues affecting our people, where hunger, unemployment, poverty have since escalated. I was hearing the, the president's debate in parliament when he delivered his speech, where he claimed that they found a damaged economy. And I know you members of parliament who use uh, your response to remind them that uh, finding three billion dollars in foreign reserves is not to damage the economy. Finding 1.5 million metric tons in best grain reserves is not to damage the economy. Finding that the country had invested in power and there is no uh, uh, load shedding, if there is load shedding, is, is as, just as a result of a careless decision to export more power than you are generating or than what is available to our people. So uh, they have damaged the economy. They want to allege we, we, they found the damaged economy. 
the rate they are borrowing at, as explained by you members of parliament, is far, far higher than the PF borrowed in 10 years. So we'd like to appreciate you and thank you for finding time. Uh, because some people were alleging that they had taken over the secretariat. They even appropriated themselves uh, positions, outlawing the party constitution. So such persons, in fact, outlawed their own membership of the party. So we, 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 we appreciate you on behalf of the Central Committee. I thought that uh, your duty to come and inspect the damage that was done, and also to provide solidarity, especially to our staff that are here, I think is highly commendable. Thank you very much. Members of the press, our MPs will now take questions. The director, take over. Yeah, we'll take questions. Uh, you tell us your name and where you are.